Hello and welcome to an art testing video. Basically, I saw these supplies and I had to try them. I just had to. They sounded awesome. They are from Culture Hustle from Stuart Semple, who is in Dorset, England, so I had to support. And basically, he's made this blacker than black. It's quite, it's black 3.0. There is a 2.0 and I believe a 1.0. And he's made this and it's supposed to rival or be like the Venter Black. Um, I'll talk more about that later when I actually get around to using it. But I also bought, which I've just shown, the limited edition pumpkin orange, orangey-ish orange ever. And this is the most yellowy yellow ever. You, you get the, the idea of how he names this stuff. And the blue is blue. And as you can see, I actually bought this in another pack. I bought this in his Christmas pack and I did this whole video, this whole unboxing and I did this picture with all of these colours and then, yeah, the, the video just went. But never mind, never mind, it's fine. So this is actually out of his little Christmas uh, box thing where you get a mug and a bag and a pencil and all this stuff. It's actually a really good little present but I bought it for myself. Um, I must admit, I have no idea what I'm doing. Absolutely no idea. I've never mixed my own paints before and I think I'm being very gingerly doing it and worrying about it and not wanting to waste it. Although every time I open these things, they just, they went everywhere. You see it all over my fingers, which is fine. It washes off really well. It rinses off your brushes really well. Just a bit of water and you're fine, but they're a bit mucky while you're making them. I don't know if it's me and my clumsiness and I definitely made them too watery. Definitely put too much water in with this lot. With the, um, with the orange and the green later on, I put more of the powder in and it does thicken it up. It does make it even more vibrant, believe it or not. But yeah, my paint mixing skills are not necessarily up to the task. So yeah, never mind, never mind, it's fine. But they are incredibly colourful, as you can see. The blue, not that vibrant. You know, it's pretty darn vibrant, but the pink, you cannot see it on, on film. It is so much more pinky than this. And I must admit, I, I did this last night and I left it overnight to completely dry and I came in this morning and I saw it on my desk on the other side of the room and you can see those colours going. Definitely very very vibrant. But this is the uh, this is the black 3.0. The idea is with the Venta black it's supposed to be so black that no or very little light reflects off it so you can't see it. I remember seeing it when it came out and they, they put it on like foil and scrunched it up and you couldn't see any folds in the foil. It's amazing stuff. But they basically, they only allow this one artist, this Anish Kapoor, to use it. Don't ask me why, don't ask me what went into that. But Stuart Semple, well, didn't like this. Must admit it was a bit off for me as well because I, I was fascinated by it and I really wanted to get my hands on it, but you can't. So he made his own version. There you go. Um, so this is me doing just a little, of course, pumpkin painting. Of course, I've never used acrylics before in my entire life. I think it shows. Um, I did my best. But yes, I use all the colours and then I decided to use the, the green a little more. The green is really luminescent. I don't quite know what the word for it is, but it is very, very bright. It's it's lovely. It really is. The orange, again, you can't see it on this film and it's such a shame. But the orange, the pink and the green are definitely really vibrant. Um, the blue, not so much. The yellow, it's very light. So I, I, I completely lost the filming of me doing the little blue cat there. But never mind. Never mind. It's fine. But here's the pink. I tried to um, thicken it up a bit. I definitely made it too watery. But it does go on nicely. It definitely does. I think if I'd, I'd mixed it, been a bit braver with how I mixed it, it would have been even more vibrant. But it's such a shame you can't see it on film. I, th I think they are worth it. There is a version. They're called, he calls them potions of ready mixed, um, ready mixed acrylic paint. 
and this was just the the cheaper version of that so I went with these but you can get the ready mix bottles of the paint they are definitely if, if this is the kind of colors that you like they are definitely worth it here's the black there's me slapping it on I think I did about two and a bit coats just slapping it on there there we go so it, it's it's very black it is very very black you can see it there it's uh, not the greatest light but I shone I shone my lamp right on it the the picture is about to strive to strobe stribe strobilate yeah because I get the lamp too close there we go but this I put it on this bit of paper and I went over it four times and you you can see the fold but it is very very black so from what I know of Venta Black you shouldn't be able to see those folds not that I have any of the Venta Black to compare it to of course but I will say it is very black the mouth and eyes are done with a uh, a uh, micron and you can see the difference and there is the finished result my attempt anyway but I hope this has been useful to you I hope this has shown a little bit of, about what these uh, these art supplies do and I think they were worth the money the black was about 15 pounds and the Christmas box I bought was about 30 pounds not sure how that translates into other money but that's how much it was in England anyway and yeah well worth the money I think but anyway thank you very much for watching I hope this helped I hope you liked it please give it a like please subscribe it really helps the channel out and I'd love to get those numbers up but I hopefully see you next time bye <laughs>